Musk would rather sleep than watch Netflix. That should tell you something. Hi Daybreakers, welcome back to my channel where we focus on your well-being to help you live your best day yet starting today. We are going to look into Elon Musk's daily routine. We're going to look at what this man does to reach his successful aptitude. The man is already worth $185 billion, making him the richest man in the world. And while I can't tell you how to make $185 billion or send people to Mars, I can help you break down how you should do your day-to-day -day routine. We're going to start out with the fact that Elon Musk gets about six to six and a half hours of sleep a night. That is his range. He goes to bed at about 1 a.m. and wakes up at 7 a.m. Now, Musk typically skips breakfast. Not a big breakfast guy. And while he used to be addicted to Diet Coke and living off of $1 a day for his meals, he has since given up Diet Coke and really only drinks coffee about two cups a day. On top of that, Musk only has a five minute time slot for his lunch. So, horse down something quick, and then he typically has work-related dinner at the end of his day. On top of that, he tries not to eat or drink alcohol about three hours before he goes to sleep. As far as working out goes, or what he does in his idle time, not that he really has idle time because the man fills it in five minute increments, but he typically enjoys running on the treadmill. He likes to do Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu. He's dabbled in karate. While playing with his kids, he will check his emails. He's a big multitasker and he loves reading books like Lord of the Rings. Now that we have a generalization of what Musk does during his day, let's break down how you can apply Musk's daily routine to your life. First of all, let's do a little more math. There are 168 hours in a week. Musk works an 18 hour workday, which comes out to a 90 hour work week. Musk sleeps for 42 hours in a week. Musk only gets 36 hours of idle time. In comparison, the average American works about a 44 hour work week. We sleep an average of seven hours per night, which comes out to 49 hours of sleep per week. The average American has 75 hours of free slash idle time. So how do we fill that time and what can we do to make our days more productive like Elon? First takeaway, Musk is always learning. His job is literally how he can grow his mind in order to enhance society, which begs the question, what are you doing to enhance society? What are you doing to grow your mind? Every day I encourage you to try and learn something new. Find a book either about your job or unrelated to your job that you are interested in learning about. If you don't have time to read it, then get the audio book. Watch YouTube videos on it, read spark notes on it, grow your mind. Be like the husky musky. Okay, number two, Musk blocks his days into five minute increments, 216 time slots where he is productive. He knows exactly what he is doing that day. He knows exactly what he's going to accomplish that day every single day every single minute for him has purpose, which begs the question, what does your daily schedule look like? A lot of people have to-do lists, which they never get everything done on the to-do list, or a lot of people don't even plan their day. They just plan on what to accomplish during the day as far as assignments go, tasks. And so a good tip I have to try is start blocking your day in just one hour increments. Let's say you're awake for 16 hours, put a bunch of bullet points, 16 bullet points, and jot down what you're gonna do each and every hour. I know life gets in the way. Deadlines get pushed up, people are late to meetings, the kid decided to throw her supper across the kitchen. I know that accidents happen and life just never listens to your beautiful plans, but Musk blocks his days into five minute increments and I guarantee people try to get time with Musk. I'm sure he gets spammed with emails and people try to talk to him just for one more minute to glean some knowledge from Musk, but that man does five minute increments. If he can do five minute increments while working a 90 hour work week, Surely we can stick to creating one hour time slots throughout our day and doing our best to stick with them. Now, number three, Musk has less free time than he does time for sleep. 
Musk sleeps for 42 hours a week versus 36 hours of free time. What does that mean for you and me? We need to be conscientious of our self-care. Musk would rather sleep than watch Netflix. That should tell you something. If the man that's worth $185 billion would like to spend more time sleeping than he would have free time, guys, you need to have more self care. For one of those one hour blocks throughout your day, maybe spend it sleeping, reading a favorite book, lighting a candle and just looking at it, making your favorite tea, having a bubble bath, whatever it may be, you have more free time than Musk. Fill it with rest, fill it with revamping your life, fill it with purpose, fill it with self care. Do things that promote your happiness and help your brain rest. Give yourself time to have self care on a day to day basis. Number four, as you may have already gathered from this video, Musk does not have idle time. Everything is filled with purpose. Every moment of his day has a reason for existing. Meanwhile, the average American will scroll 5.49 miles in a year. That equivalates to 29,029 feet or the height of Mount Everest. The average American will scroll to Mount Everest every year. should hurt your soul, guys. Like that should, that's just insane. I can't even believe it. That is 74 feet of scrolling per day. This should make you cry. Meanwhile, Musk hates idle time so much that he actually hates meetings and said this to his workers, walk out of a meeting or drop off a call as soon as it is obvious you aren't adding value. It is not rude to leave, it is rude to make someone stay and waste their time. Ouch, and here we are wasting our time, not someone else's time, but our own personal time, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I know that there is beneficial information on the internet, this video being one of the things. There are also audiobooks, podcasts, there's so much to learn from the internet. And while that is amazing and wonderful, you are typically going to remember the audiobooks you listen to, the podcasts you listen to, the inspirational or motivational or learning or educational videos you watch versus scrolling on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. These social media platforms are not benefiting your day. They are idle time. You are scrolling your way to Mount Everest and you're not even getting that fit to do it. Number five. Musk has parties. In fact, Musk is known for having some of the most lavish parties. For his birthday one year, he rented out a castle in England and had a random hide and go seek fest in the middle of the party. On top of that, there was one party where Musk hired a knife thrower to pop balloons that Musk held in between his legs. The man loves to party. He throws big bashes when he does, which begs the question, when was the last party you had? We waste so much of our time not laughing, not living life to the fullest, not having more community, especially with COVID going on right now. And with all the tension in America, we are lacking community more than ever. We need to get back to the basics of being with other people and having fun. Guys, remember when you were little and you just loved playing hide and go seek or Foursquare at recess? Oh, recess was so much fun. And now we're older and it's like, we just want nap time, like take us back to kindergarten, but why not do it guys? Why not have a nap time in your day? Why not have a recess where you have a bunch of friends over for touch football? Why not have more fun? If Elon Musk can still throw parties, surely you can too. Number six, Elon Musk, and I actually don't think that he knows that he does this, but Elon Musk is an intermittent faster. The man usually skips breakfast, has a very small lunch where he breaks fast and then has a dinner. Then he goes an average of about 16 to 18 hours before he eats again. The one benefit I'm going to leave you guys with about fasting related to Musk is that it helps with brain function. Fasting helps to increase your brain-derived neurotrophic factor, 
What does that mean? Pretty much it helps to stimulate more neuron connections. On top of that, fasting also helps you grow new brain nerve cells. What this means is it helps fight against Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, strokes, epilepsy, dementia, obesity, depression. Your brain becomes a powerhouse when you skip even breakfast. You are on your way to having an optimized brain like must. If you're curious about what to do in your mornings, how to establish a morning routine, check out my other videos, and above all else, welcome to Daybreak. Welcome to you. I will see you next week.